On the west coast of an island off of another island, there lived a man who was a fisherman by trade, but was known across the land for the tunes that he played on the fiddle. As he was called, lived with his family in a cottage, nestled at the base of a knoll which sheltered it from the winds which burst over the hills from the sea. On this cold night, the fiddler left his snug cottage grudgingly, for the fire was warm and the company was merry. But more fish had to be caught by morning. And so out and down he went. Through fields. Onto his cold, dark boat he climbed, and out to sea, where he settled himself under oil skins, and drew up his fiddle and began to play. Fighting not at all, so comforted were they by the strains from his fiddle. And so the fiddler took up his basket of fish and walked homeward. As he approached the knoll that hid his snug cottage, his ears caught a graceful melody, and setting down his basket, he followed it to a door that had opened in the hill and from which shone a beckoning light.
and he entered the door. And as he entered, the door was shut firmly behind him. As dawn crept near and the fiddler had not yet returned, his family went out to look for him. Finding only his basket of fish, they knew that surely he'd been lost to the sea. They were sad for a time, but eventually moved away and a new family moved in. One cold evening, the fiddler emerged from the hill and returned to his snug cottage. Setting down his fiddle on a chair, he warmed his hands by the fire. But when he looked up, he saw strange faces, wearing clothes from an age to come, not the one he had come to know. They laughed at him and called him a drunk, all but the grandmother who asked his name. When he replied, she said, you did live here once, but the man of your name disappeared, gone a hundred years now. Well, where are my folk then? Dead, came her reply, and the room was quiet. And so I'll join them, said the fiddler, and drawing himself up, he left the warmth of the hearth and family. He came to the top of a cliff where the winds blew fiercely. A little girl of the house had followed him, and she hid herself and watched as the fisherman began to play. someone who had died near 100 years ago, and laying amongst them the beautiful fiddle. She took it up carefully and walked home, all the while humming the fiddler's tune, which her fingers never forgot how to play. And so blinded was she by her tears that she did not see the door that had opened in the hill and from which wondrous music was heard. <laughs> 